But Chad's got down on stinkies, right? Those scaled sardines? Yes, sir. Picked them up at O'Neill's this morning. They stink pretty bad. And uh, that's usually around anywhere you're fishing, dropping down, you call them stinkies. Everybody knows it's sardines out of a bag. But uh, I have on what they call a scaled sardine, otherwise known as white bait, pilchards, you know, you name it. It's, how many different names you got for them? I call them, when they're that big, I call them Paula Deans or Razor Bellies. <laughs> what are we gonna get today? Well, I believe we're gonna catch some red groupers, some scamps, some gag groupers. Um, the water temperature is that magical 72 degrees out in the Gulf of Mexico. We hit our fall season. I'm pretty confident we'll be able to hook a few kingfish. I'm sure it felt like it smacked it. God, it don't take long for him to start thumping on that, does he? No. Well, I told you I felt the mangrove snapper down there. <laughs> Our grouper trips turn into a mangrove trip. You know what? That's not a bad thing, though. That's not. They're great eating. This is on a pinner, so this could be a gag. Come on, Mr. Gag. Nope. Another red. See, if y'all wanna come catch a bunch of fish that look like that, you definitely can come and get your fill. What I like to do is hook them through the head, like that, and rip the tail. Get the stink going. And just give them a little flip. And just knocker rigs, huh? You don't do the big traditional grouper rig? No, I, I, I like knocker rigs. It's simple, it's easy. It's, uh, you can catch everything on it. That's what I use for flounder over on the East Coast is those knocker rigs. I, I first started using knocker rigs mutton snapper fishing. And then uh, it just seems to work too well not to keep using it. If it's working, why change it, right? Exactly. And Mr. Mango Snapper right here. Oh yeah, there you go. Still on the right side of the rig then, huh? And he came off a of dead bait. He's almost looking like he wants to bite me. There he is. Get him. Ah, I rock him. No. <sighs> Come on out. I was on a pinner? Yeah. Thump it, thump, boom, 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 start playing the, there you go. There he is. That's the trick right there, yeah. every time. <laughs> hey, it works. It does. That's usually a gag doing that, huh? Yes, sir. Ooh, yes it are, baby. And that? I don't guess you gotta measure these, do you? Ooh. He thought he had me. What you did is he played the blues. He rocked you up. You see where he, he stuck his head down in the rocks down there. And what they do, they'll get down in there and they'll flare their gills like that out and they get locked in there. So what I did, I don't know if you heard Chad, he said, thump the line. I went tight on it, started thumping it. And sure enough, I felt him start to come out. Then I just put the boots to him and there's what you got. 
a couple of fillets. Twenty inches on these, huh? Twenty-two. Twenty-two. He's twenty. I think he makes it very easy. Plus, he got his head down in them rocks, and he's got this thing buried. The, the key is you were patient and you stuck with him, you know? Yeah. So there we go, folks. Gag grouper. About 58 feet of water now. We moved a little bit to find them, and we finally did. Y'all stay tuned. We're going to be right back with Captain Chad Manning. Right off of Tampa Bay, brother. What a beautiful little spot he's got here. Be right back. <laughs> 